Hi you guys, Evie the Original Master here, and welcome back to another VeggieTales review. Today I'm here to review episode 3, Are You My Neighbor, released on February 7th of 1995. So, without further ado, let's begin. Kids and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato and I'm Larry the Cucumber and we're here to answer your questions. Yep. Okay, no offense you guys. I think Phil Vischer and Mark Nakaraki, again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing his last name, is purposely rewriting the exact same lines for Bob and Larry at the beginning of every episode. Hi kids and welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato and I'm Larry the Cucumber and we are here to answer your questions. Well, I have a question. Why is there a shoe on your head? I bet you're wondering why Larry has a shoe on his head. Well, yeah, just ask that why question. Do I have a shoe on my head? Well, I got a letter today from Latasha Robbins of Savannah, Georgia. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that they actually got a letter from my state. But it's not where I'm from, but hey, it's Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. But sadly, we are not going to do the first segment for this episode. You wanna know why? Well, um, take a look at the VHS cover, for example. Yes, you guys, judging by the cover of this videotape, we are not going to review the first segment, which is the Flibberoo. Instead, we're going to do this segment of Junior, Bob, and Larry going to outer space, because that's what it shows on the cover, and that's what we're going to review. So, is there anyone else you'd like to invite to your birthday party? Um, let's see. Don't forget Louie. Oh, and Marsha. I think that's it. Are you forgetting anyone else? No, I don't think so. Well, what about Fernando? So yeah, what about Fernando? Why isn't Junior inviting Fernando? Well, it's because he moved into the neighborhood and he thinks he's weird. Well, first of all, Junior, you are weird because of your voice, and B, it's not nice to treat your neighbors like that. So after that nicely well-hearted conversation with him and his dad, Junior then goes to sleep for his party tomorrow, because if he does not go to sleep, then he'll be cranky for his party. And this is the exact same location we had in the first episode, Where's Got When I'm Scared, this very poorly CGI bedroom. Then all of a sudden, a spaceship arrives in this bedroom as soon as his dad leaves. Why does everything happen as soon as Junior's dad leaves? I mean, seriously, what is up with this guy's house? Because there's no such thing as burglar alarms back in the 90s, right? Wow, I'm actually I'm pretty impressed. He actually did a recreation of Junior screaming and saying, Who are you? from the first episode, Where's God When I'm Scared? Hmm, let's compare the clips to each other. Ah! Who are you? Ah! Who are you? So technically, Bob and Larry crashed their tiny miniature spacecraft into Junior's room because of a situation that they're having with. Larry? What? How many times have I told you not to eat while you're wearing your helmet? This is actually a pretty funny scene of how Bob is treating Larry like a child, telling him not to eat while he's wearing his helmet. That's pretty funny stuff right there for a Christian show. We need your help, Junior. Our starship, the USS Apple Pies, is in grave danger. So it appears that their spacecraft, the USSA Apple Pie, is in serious danger and it appears that Junior is the only one to stop it. I don't know why they're gonna ask another character like Archibald or Paul Grape or something, but why Junior? He's like, what, six? Okay, let me get this straight. So you have a starship named the USA Apple Pie, or the USSA Apple Pie, whatever it's called, is under attack by a giant meteor. And why does Junior have to stop it? I mean, can't you guys stop it yourselves or something? But... I think we'll have to talk about that when we get more information about this. Well, can't you just move the ship out of the way? Well, yes, of course. Why can't we just move the ship out of the way? That sounds like a very smart idea, right? The Apple Pies is completely without power. Dead in the water. She can't budge an inch. She's stuck. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Junior then asks Bob how he could help, and then Bob makes an excuse about his preschool that he goes to. Yes, I did. Guys, this next scene is very stupid. Then Larry asks Junior what he majored in in preschool, and it's gonna be very stupid. What'd you major in? That's not important now. Play-Doh. <gasps> Me too. 
Oh my god, why Larry? You had to ask some stupid questions. So Junior majored in Plato, and so did Larry. You know what? Bob is the only smart character in this episode, so we can just kick J And I hope Phil Vischer gave them permission to use the word Plato in Veggie Tales. That's some copyrighted stuff. Junior. And this is my major issue with Veggie Tales. My major issue is the extreme close shots up. This is a kid's show, Phil. Enough with the close shots up, please. So, anyways, Bob transports Larry and Junior inside the spacecraft so they can go into outer space to stop the USA apple pie from getting struck by the meteorite. And yeah, more very bad CGI. So then we get a nice glance close shot up of the USA apple pie, which looks very good in my book. And you're probably asking, who is the captain of the USA apple pie? Well, it's Scooter. And who is Scooter? Well, Scooter is a large, tall carrot of the VeggieTales franchise, and he has a really, really weird design. Oh, Captain, you've returned! Way to go, you have to give Scooter a Scottish accent. That's really great of you, VeggieTales. It's not funny, man. Enough with the weird stereotypes, okay? Why do you have to give Scooter a Scottish accent? You've returned! Hello, Scooter. Any luck? I'm afraid not, Captain. The engines have got no power, and we've only five minutes till that meteor smashes us to bits. Oh no, that's very How terrible. How many are on the ship? 364. How many escape pods are there? Two. Direct. Wow, Scooter, you should be a very shame for yourself, dude. Very, very shameful. And if you guys thought that was terrible, you should hear what the meteor is made out of. And trust me, you are not going to be too happy. Popcorn. <laughs> Are you serious? So they went on this adventure just to stop a giant ball of popcorn. Are you serious? <sighs> Anyways, we are introduced by these two new characters, Jimmy and Jerry Gord. Jimmy on the left and Jerry on the right. And they are brothers. That's right, they are brothers. And what makes them annoying is that they cannot stop talking about what they can eat more. That's all they talk about. Jimmy Gord. I'm Jerry Gord. We're the new guys. Great, now we got the Triple J characters up in here. Junior, Jerry, and Jimmy. Now, um, remember how I talked about they always talk about what they could eat more? Well, that's what they're about to discuss now in this next scene. And trust me, it's not pretty at all. Yeah, maybe. So, why do you eat so much? We're hungry, I guess. Well, that's a very good explanation of why you guys eat so much. Why don't you eat the control panels then? Or eat your headsets? Or why don't you just eat each other? Since you guys like to eat so much. It's our metabolism or something. You know, sometimes I think I could eat a whole bus. Yeah, well, sometimes I think I could eat a whole spaceship. Oh, yeah? Well, sometimes I think I could eat a whole planet. Planet, planet, planet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the award of the fattest person in the world goes to Jimmy Gord for saying he can eat a whole planet. Dude, people like you make me sick and I hope you can die from diabetes or something. I'm sorry if I'm saying that, but you really need to die, dude. Then Junior makes our ears bleed with his high screeching voice. Well, sure, but... How would you guys like to help save the ship? Save the ship! Save the ship! Oh gosh, let me swirl! I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 he's about to do it. He's about to do it. He's about to scream. Cover your ears. Please do it. No, seriously, what did he even say? I don't even know. So the gang send Jimmy and Jerry Gord up into space to eat the meteorite because they're fat. Oh my god, this is so cringeworthy. So they only have two minutes left until the meteorite crashes into their spaceship. And then Jimmy and Jerry start singing the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? He lives on Drury Lane. Yep, that proves my case there that Jimmy and Jerry are indeed the fat characters of VeggieTales for them singing the Muffin Man song. Very good job. I bet I could eat all his muffins. Oh, well, I bet I could eat all his muffins in his house. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you are not funny, Jimmy. Anyways, they approach the popcorn ball and they proceed to eat it because they're fat, of course. Oh my gosh. 
Did the popcorn ball kill Jimmy and Jerry? I'm like, they're dead. They're dead. Yay. And then we don't have to see them ever again in VeggieTales. We never have to see them again because they're so dumb. They're pointless. Oh, wait. They're not dead. Let's eat it. Shut up. So, yeah, of course, Jimmy and Jerry eat the popcorn ball because they're fat. And they only have like a couple of seconds left until it's game over for them. Look at that, a poorly designed popcorn ball is about to kill them. And they only have like, what, 11 only seconds, seconds left? left? I sure hope those gourds were hungry. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, so they did eat the popcorn ball. Great. After a job's well done, everybody thanks Jimmy and Jerry for eating the popcorn ball. Cause they're fat. And then Jerry eats the freaking table. Are you serious? Why did you eat the table? Look like an Oreo cream cake. So then Jimmy and Jerry begins to start singing a song about friendship. And trust me, this song will be stuck in your heads for years to come. Seen a boy with funny clothes, a girl with braces on her teeth or freckles on her nose. Some kids call them oddballs, some kids call them weird. Is it my imagination or does Aunt Ruth have a beard? Oh my <laughs> god, these lyrics and oh my god, why is Jerry squashing like that? Stop it with the weird animations, Veggie Tales. It's wrong. Instead, we need to look on them in love and sing this song. I can be your friend. Friend. Why will I want to be your friend? You ate the table, you kept talking about how many things you can eat, and you got um your brother Jerry shaking his pants off for some unknown reason. He looks like a maraca. Any day and any weather, we can meet friends and play together. You know what? I might as well play the whole song. Jesus, man. I'm sorry if I'm doing this for you guys. That we're supposed to care about. Aye, that's where we got feelings that are very much the same. And so instead of weirdo, I think friend's a better name. I can be your friend. La, la, la. I can be your friend. La, la, la. If your hair is red or yellow, we can have lunch. I'll share my jello. Nobody wants your jello, Junior. Anyways, the gang flies out of the USA apple pie and go back home to Junior's place after a job's well done. Again, the CGI is terrible because this is 1995. Jeez, even Super Mario 64 had better CGI than this. Anyways, after that musical number, Junior's dad shows up. Like, in the first episode where his dad shows up after they leave. Junior then tells his dad that his neighbor, insert name here, can go to his party. And you're not going to believe what the ending is going to be. Just take a wild guess. <sighs> Are you serious? They come back again? For what? What? What is it now? Um, well, Lieutenant Larry here dropped our map right out of the spaceship. Nope, I'm done. I'm done. Just stop the video right here. Stop the video. Just stop. Because I am done. Where was your map? There was no map shown in this entire segment. Come on, Bob. Think about it. Think about it, Bob. We were wondering if you could just give us directions to the freeway. I think we can make it from there. Out the window, down the street, left at Mr. Slushy. Great. Thanks. Mr. Slushy. Man, I can oh, care no, less about you that. Said right. I distinctly remember you saying right at Mr. Slushy. Why would I say that? That'd be that'd be crazy. I'm kind of thirsty. Can we stop at Mr. Slushy? No, we need that money for toll. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Tell Larry about the importance of money. here by QWERTY to talk about what we learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to uh, say. Bob, what are you doing? Whoa, guess Bob's not having it today. Let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. Love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19.18. Now that means we should treat others just as nicely as we want to be treated. 
Oh, look at the time. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, remember, God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye! Bye! And there you have it, everyone. That's my review on VeggieTales' Are You My Neighbor? The second segment, of course. And I actually have to say, it was actually pretty good. Um, Jimmy and Jerry are the fat characters of VeggieTales, which I kind of find them funny for. Um, Junior's infamous scream that he did, I don't know what he said, but I thought that was pretty funny. And, um, the song at the end was actually pretty good. Teaching us to be friends and loving our neighbors. Well, hope you guys enjoyed my review on Are You My Neighbor? The next review, I'll do Rack Shack and Benny. So with that said, God made you special and he loves you very much. And I'm gonna go on Discord and talk to the reaction guy. So, peace.